morning color field or palette. So in the previous class we completed the first chapter number system. Then after that coming to next chapter. In earlier classes that means up to eighth standard we learned about algebraic expressions. Then after that we know addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of algebraic expressions also. And moreover, we learn factorization, factorization of algebraic expressions also. So recall x plus y whole square z equals to x square plus 2xy plus y square factorized x minus y whole square z equals to x square minus 2xy plus y square x square minus y square z equals to x plus y into x minus y and so on. So like that many factorizations also we know how to factorize the given algebraic expression. Now in 9th class, ninth standard we are going to learn about a particular type of algebraic expression is called as polynomial. A particular type of algebraic expression that is about polynomial. We are going to learn what is polynomial and its terminology and its related terminology. Then after that, in this chapter polynomial, in this chapter polynomial, you may also learn reminder theorem factor theorem and some special identities of polynomials. So now in today's class, firstly, we will learn what is polynomial and its terminology. Then after that, how to find coefficient, what is coefficient and what is degree and types of polynomial in one way. Now, polynomial. What is the difference between algebraic expression and polynomial? Polynomial also and algebraic expression only. But it is a particular algebraic expression. That means by some conditions we are making an algebraic expression as polynomial. What, what are those conditions? If an algebraic expression has power of variable as non-negative integers, then it is called polynomial. That means 2x square plus 3x plus 5, it is an algebraic expression. One more, 2x power minus 2 plus 3x plus 5, so this is one more algebraic expression, 2x to the power 1 by 2 plus 3x plus 5, simply 1 by 2 means 2 square root of x also you can write. So three different types of polynomials, three different types of algebraic expressions have been. In the first polynomial, observe the degree of variable. How much here? Two here one. Nothing here means it is one. So one and two are the degrees. One and two are the powers. So these powers are integers only, but positive integers. Coming to second expression, what is the power of x here? Minus 2. Here a power of x is 1. So powers are minus 2 and 1. Integers only, but one is positive, one is negative integers we are getting. Coming to this. What is power of x here? 1 by 2. Power of x is 1. So 1 and 1 by 2 are the power. So 1 is 1 is a Integers 
and 1 by 2 not an integer it is a rational number the expressions which has power of variables as non negative integer then only it is polynomial so clearly the first one only polynomial here on 2 and 1 are the non negative integer here minus 2 is a negative integer here not only integer not integer it is a rational so that condition you have to remember in defining polynomials. That means once again an algebraic expression whose variable power is non-negative integer, then it is called polynomial. And next coming to its term now. Take the first one, we told it is polynomial. Okay. These two are just expressions, algebraic expressions. Now in this polynomial, the first one, polynomial may have one term, two term, three term and infinite term. There is no condition to, uh, so particularly that much terms only has to. It may have one term, it may have thousand terms also, infinite terms also. So the, the first term, example 2x square plus 3x plus 1. How many terms here? Three terms. The first term is 2x square, the second term is 3x. The third term is 5. Observe each and every term. Each and every term is the product of constant and variable. Constant and variable. So here, 2x square means 2 into x square. 3x means 3 into x. 5. Here only constant is there. But uh, I told each and every term is uh, the product of constant and variable. So 5 means we can write as 5 into 1 also. 5 into 1 means 5 into x to the power 0 also we can write. Instead of 1, x to the power 0. So x to the power 0 means anything, anything to the power 0 is 1. If x is not equals to 0, anything other than, uh, other than 0. To the power 0 is 1. We learnt in laws of exponents in the previous chapter. So, 5 means 5 into x to the power 0. So, look constant. But constant also is the product of constant and variable. So, each and every term in a polynomial forms by the product of constant and variable. And now, the first, first term, the constant of variable, that means the x square, constant and variable here, x square is in product with 2, so this constant value is said to be as coefficient of x square. That means in a term, the constant which is in product with variable is called coefficient of that variable. That means here x square, 2 is in product with, 2 is in multiplication with x square. So coefficient of x square is 2, same like the coefficient of x is 3, then coefficient of x to the power 0 is like that we can find coefficient of given terms and then, then degree what is degree of polynomial before going to uh, learn about know about degree polynomials are many types Polynomials in one variable, polynomials in two variables, polynomials in three variables, and polynomials in 
n number of variables are there. Polynomial spin one variable two x two x square plus three x five x cube plus four x square plus three x plus one and so on. So these are all polynomials only. But in these polynomials, how many variables are there? Only one variable. What is that x only? X only used with each and every polynomial. Such type of polynomials are said to be as polynomials in one variable. Study about uh, in this chapter about only polynomials in one variable. Next, in your higher class of polynomials in two variables. We'll learn. So, what are those two variables also just for your idea? So, x plus y, x square plus 2xy plus y square, x cube plus y cube plus z cube. Plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx. Look, polynomial in two variables. Two variables. What are, what are the variables here? x and y. Here x and y used. Here x and y and z also used. So like that, how many number of variables we use? Those many. So we will define. By using that number, that means polynomial one over only one variable we use it means it is a polynomial in one variable. Two we use it means it is a polynomial in two variables. Three we use it means it is a polynomial in three variables. Like that we may define. Now in this chapter we will learn only about polynomials in one way. Now coming to degree. Three x to the power seven. 5x to the power 9 plus 3x plus 3x to the power 6 plus 5x plus 4. So observe here two examples. I am taking all plus well, if not to take plus minus also you may check. So here, yeah, what is the degree of this polynomial, what is the exponent of this polynomial, sir? It is a single term. It is a single term. It is a multi term. That means uh, more than 3. Yes, sir. One more uh, you have to remember. If a polynomial has one term, then it is called monomial. So, this one also we know in earlier classes, once again, monomial. If a, poly, if a polynomial has two terms, then it is called binomial. If a polynomial has three terms, then it is called trinomial. If a polynomial, polynomial has only one term, then it is called mono, two terms means bino, three terms means trinomial. So coming to this. Uh, no, 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 finding degree. In this monomial, what is the power of variable A? 7. So, this is 7. And in this multinomial, many terms are there in this polynomial. What is the highest power of variable? 9. So, this 9 is said to be as degree of this polynomial here one term only is there so whatever the power is there so that is said to be as degree of this monomial and 2x to the power 3 plus 5 so here what is the highest power of variable here nothing is there you can think it is product of constant and variable now what is the highest power of this polynomial so in the first term 3, the second term 0, 0 and 3, 
3 is the bigger one. So this 3 is said to be as degree of this column. So like that uh, easily we can identify what is the degree of a given column. So we learned uh, in this class about the definition and the types of columns that mean uh, types of polynomials based on the number of terms. Then after that we learned what is coefficient. Then after that we learned what is how to how to find the degree of given polynomial. And moreover, we know what is polynomial in one way. And now types of polynomials. 